Around the same time that the FCC approved Starlink for moving vehicles like planes, trains, and ships, we see this new section on the Starlink website for maritime Starlink. So good news if you are a yacht owner. In fact, I only know one person who owns a yacht. But yeah, Starlink can now be available on board your elite vessel. And let me tell you more about the pricing for this. Starlink has now unveiled $5,000 a month internet for oil rigs and premium yachts. John Brodkin with Ars Technica reports SpaceX is now offering Starlink maritime service. This will bring satellite internet service to large boats for $5,000 per month and an upfront hardware purchase of $10,000. So considerably more expensive from the standard Starlink, but this is a big deal. The Starlink service webpage says, quote, from merchant vessels to oil rigs to premium yachts, Starlink Maritime allows you to connect from the most remote waters across the world, just like you would in the office or at home. Starlink Maritime advertises download speeds of up to 350 megabits per second and the ability to pause and unpause service at any time while being billed in one month increments. So that is actually really cool. There's also secure fleet management and remote monitoring to manage your Starlink fleet from a single portal. And take a look at the user terminals on the Starlink Maritime page. They look quite similar to those used for Starlink home internet service. Elon Musk wrote on Twitter that Starlink Maritime uses dual high performance terminals, which are important for maintaining the connection in choppy seas and heavy storms. And these terminals are also ruggedized for relentless salt spray in extreme winds and storms in the deep ocean. Now, Elon notes that the $5,000 a month is obviously premium pricing, but he says it's way cheaper and faster than alternatives offered right now. Elon reveals that SpaceX was actually paying $150,000 a month for a much worse connection, just to put it in perspective for you. We learned about Starlink Maritime shortly after the Federal Communications Commission granted SpaceX's application to operate consumer and enterprise Earth stations in motion, or ESIMs, throughout the US. So they have the green light for moving vehicles, aircraft, and vessels in US territorial waters and international waters. Now, many of you know Starlink already has a service for RVs, but it's not intended to be used while an RV is moving just yet. So we hope another service for mo moving vehicles isn't too far away. SpaceX also plans to provide Starlink internet on flights. We know that Hawaiian Airlines is interested. Also, Royal Caribbean has committed to Starlink as well for its cruise line. And I was reading through the comments on this article and I saw a really interesting point that someone brought up. One of these users points out that someone in the industry has commented that right now employee crew retention is a huge deal. They thought a lot of organizations would be throwing money at SpaceX just for that reason. Think about it. If crew could have solid internet access, calling home, browsing, and watching online, it could be a huge plus for recruiting and keeping people in an often pretty cut off job with long periods of not a lot going on. And for a lot less money than how much the salary would have to rise for a single person to get the same effect. And this person replied, and I thought this was interesting, no company likes costs, but $10,000 upfront and $60,000 a year isn't even a 10th of one marine bunkering bill for a medium sized cargo vessel. It's about the average salary of a sailor in merchant service with more of the nicer companies with a few years of experience. Your typical merchant vessel is going to have a crew between 20 to 50. So this could increase costs for the company, the equivalent of maybe two to 4% for what is potentially a huge recruitment and retention perk. They also add that this would increase data links to their ships to keep tabs on them. This could also improve safety where you don't necessarily need to rely on just a satellite phone or marine VHF to communicate. So I thought that this was an interesting and pretty valid point that having a better internet connection for a career that is much more isolated might be more enticing and help with recruitment and retention. I wanna know if you guys agree with this idea. Also, is this something that you've been following? Are you perhaps someone who would be interested in using the Starlink Maritime Service? 
let me know in the comments. I love to read your comments. And thank you so much for being patient. I've been traveling a lot lately and it has been hard to make content on the road, mainly because a lot of that was driving my sister from Oregon to Missouri and then obviously helping her move into her new place. So now I'm back here in Utah. I'm going to be ramping up the content. I'm really excited to share my interview with Linda Godwin with you. She is a retired astronaut and I just love our conversation. So that is almost done. And I just want to say thank you so much for all of the support. I will see you in the next video. Thank you.